Hi everyone. We have a run of clear nights ahead of us. So I plan to get my rig out. It will be the EQ6R Pro. Um, I will be using the 2600 MC Pro one shot color camera. And I plan to leave the rig running all night. And I'll probably leave it up during the day as well. I should just cover it, which will save me from setting up every night. It's just because I know we've got some clear nights coming. I don't know how many clear nights we're gonna get. But uh, the target I'm gonna be going for is a very dim target. So I shall need as many hours as I can get on this. It is the Dark Shark Nebula. Uh, I won't be using the filter. There is gonna be a moon, but it's gonna be setting soon after I can start shooting anyway. So I don't think it'll be a problem. So I may even set up the second rig, which will be the HEQ5 Pro with the Red Cat 51. And as that's a wide field, I'll probably go for something like the Cygnus Loop, but we'll see how that one goes. So I better get set up. I'm Simon and you're watching the Simon's Astro. So I'm shooting tonight with no filter and I've got the reducer flattener fitted so it's taken the scope down from 840mm at f7 down to 658 at f5.5 so it's a little bit faster. Um, I need all the help I can get, the Dark Shark is a really dim target and uh, I'm going to try and get as many hours on, on that as I can. So it's just something I want to quickly mention about the ASIR that I recently found out about. The target I'm shooting is the Dark Shark. And if you ever come across an object that's not in the ASIR's catalogue, uh, like the Dark Shark wasn't, what you do is this. I go into Stellarium. I key in the Dark Shark. And there it comes. And there, on the left hand side, it puts up the RA and the deck coordinates. So using Stellarium and the coordinates, you then go into the ASIR and when you tap on the catalog, if you go into favorites, I've already put it in, but this is, you hit the add button at the bottom. And this is where you can type in the RA and the deck coordinates, give it the name. This is what I did up here to the Dark Shark. I wrote in Dark Shark and those RA and deck coordinates I got from Stellarium. And once I put those coordinates in, it comes up here, there's Dark Shark with the coordinates. All I have to do is hit go to, and now you've got your target permanently logged in the ASOAS catalog. I found that very useful and I've got to be honest, um, it was Luke from Lugomatico, he helped me out on that, he told me how to do that. So it's great help Luke, thanks for that. Uh, I hope this little tip helps somebody else. currently pointing at Arcturus. It's doing a automatic focus routine. It's just creating a nice little V curve there. Right, so focus is found. That's done. So, target is centered. It says he's found the dark shark. Okay, so the first 10 minutes sub is about to pop up. Here it comes. Well, it's okay, but it is a bit bright. Then it is only 10 past 11. Each sub will get a little bit darker. 
Well, you can just about make out some dark nebulosity in there. So that is the dark shark. And the stars look good. Yep, nicely focused. Pinpoints right into the corners. So I, I actually left the rig out all night last night. And when I got up this morning, and I looked out the window. It was about six o'clock and the scope had not returned to the home position like I'd set it to do so, to shut down and go back to home. But it was still tracking the target. Obviously, it was, it was daylight from around 3.30, 4 o'clock. Um, and when I come down to check the rig, it had stopped shooting at uh, 26 subs. I'd sell it to do 30, so I don't know why it stopped because there was no apparent reason for it to actually stop. So I'm um, hopefully it's going to work okay when I switch it all on in a minute. Um, I did manage to return it to the home position. Uh, the scope worked and everything was fine there. So I haven't checked the subject to see what's actually come out. I should do that shortly once I can connect to the ASO air and I'll go through all the subs. Um, hopefully the sky will clear and It'll be clear again all night and I'm going to leave it out again all night. Okay, so these are some of the subs from last night. And if you look at the darkness, probably can't read that. That's basically 2.30 in the morning. See the difference between that and the next sub? That's 2.40, that's how much light it was getting. That's 2.40, these are 10 minute subs. Light is still 2.50. Three o'clock. That's three o'clock in the morning. Ten past three. Basically, they're now getting to a point where they're no good at all. That's three twenty. And what happened there? I have no idea. That's three thirty. Three thirty in the morning. And that's three forty. So this is where it stopped, I believe. Yeah, that was, that was the last one. But as you can see, just in every 10 minutes, the difference between the two subs. So that's about, well, it's still getting darker. That one's no good with all these trails in. Um, anyway, it's 135. There, there's not much difference between those two. So that's about as dark as it gets. So there's no point in me shooting much after 2.30 really. So I'm gonna set it to stop at 2.30. I'll probably get it running at about 11.30, so we'll set up three hours, if I'm lucky. So I can't resist it, I'm actually setting up the second rig tonight. So I decided to set both rigs up tonight as it's uh, another clear sky and it's the third night in a row. So the big rig has been on the Dark Shark and it's the third night on there for that. And the first night for the Red Cat 51, I've decided to go for the Cygnus Loop. I should get the whole of the Cygnus Loop with this scope as it's 250 mil. I plan to leave both rigs running all night. Hopefully the weather will hold and we'll see what we get in the morning. Well, it's good to see both rigs have returned to the hand position, so everything must have went okay last night. So this is night four of Dark Shark, and it's four consecutive nights, so I can't complain. There's a little bit of wispy cloud about, but hopefully that'll go, and I'm going to leave the rig out again all night. This will be the fourth night I've left it out. It's never been out so much. But this is going to be the last night because I have to go back to work tomorrow, and it's going to mean up early for the rest of the week, so I really can't afford any more late nights or early starts coming out early to sort the rig out. So. The data I get tonight, I will put it all together, four nights worth, and however many hours that is, I'll be making the best of that data and hopefully have a nice image of the dark shark to show you. So now the rig's all packed away. I'm copying across all the files of the dark shark. They're coming off the built-in hard drive in the ASAR Plus. So I've got a lead coming across, going into the laptop. And this is what I have to do because I always forget to select this 
pen here. If you select to save the files to the pen, all you have to do is pull it out and go and put it in your computer upstairs. But because I always forget, it saves it to the built-in hard drive in the ASO Air Plus, which means I then have to put this lead in, which is USB-C lead, plug it into my laptop, fire up everything with my battery just so I can extract the files onto the laptop. So next time perhaps I'll remember to select the USB pen to save the files to.